What's up, you guys? I am currently on my way. I'm filming my phone now. Currently on my way to go to an Orange Theory class. I just got off work. And it's the weekend for me, baby. And I think I'm gonna vlog all weekend. I look tragic, but I'm literally struggling so hard to get in my car right now. Ugh. I look tragic, but I'm so hyped to go work out right now. I've been eating like trash all week because I know I'm about to start my period. And that's just what happens when I'm about to start. So I really need this class. Hopefully I don't pass out or throw up. I forgot my orange theory bracelet. Ah. All right, we got it, we're good. Okay, anyways, like I said, I'm going to crush orange theory class. Thank God I haven't gone all week. Um, and then afterwards, I think I'm gonna go hang out with a friend. She's on a date right now, but we're gonna hang out afterwards, hopefully, so she can tell me how it went. That's always fun, girl talk. Um, oh my God, I'm literally out of breath from running to go get my bracelet. That's so bad, but just another sign that I need to go to this class. So I'm gonna go work out and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully this night's a fun one, but I have to do this first. I have to get this over with and then we can think about fun. Oh my God, okay. I just got done with my orange theory class. Let's see how many calories I burned. You guys, I'm dying right now. Um, Ew, my shirt is literally, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if we can see the sweat stain. Kind of, oh yeah. Yeah, baby, you can see that, okay. Um, I burned 578 calories. And I, how many steps? 2,113 steps. My max heart rate was 192. Jesus, I feel like my heart rate was at 192 the entire time I was there. Um, now I'm about to eat dinner. I literally just walked in the house. It smells so good. My stepmom cooked a nice meal. So I'm about to go eat that. And then I really need a shower. My hair is disgusting. My face is disgusting. Um, I'm just exhausted right now, but I can't wait to go eat. So I'm gonna do that, shower, and then hopefully meet up with my friend, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I already showered and I like washed my face in the shower. So I'm kind of just like finishing up my skin routine right now. It's really 8.46 on the weekend for me. And I'm so tired, I just want to lay down. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using this Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. Love this stuff. It smells really good and it doesn't really burn my skin at all and it just cleans my pores really well. So I've just continued using it. I don't use it every night only because I'm not sure if you're supposed to use like a glycolic acid like every single day. Then again, I'm no skin expert, so don't hold me to that. I guess whatever works best for you. Um, <clears throat> I'm weird, I kinda like to clean up as I go, but that kind of is a good thing too. Then, I'm using this Skin Healing Gel by Rejuvi. Love this stuff also. It's got like aloe vera, cucumber, um, chamomile, and then all these things I don't know. <laughs> well, not all these things. Just a few other things that I don't really know how to pronounce. And the pump broke two days ago, so I'm just having to like unscrew it and just get some off of the little pump, pump thing. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Um, you know, to be honest, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to do. But I've been using the same brand and cleanser. I'll show it to you guys in a second. And I don't know, these things have just made my skin just look like more evenly toned. I haven't really been breaking out really at all, which I don't typically break out often anyways. For me, it's more so just like discoloration and like pores and like those under the surface kind of, hold on, why don't you turn my music down? I feel like it's kind of loud. This is a great song, by the way. This Ain't Love, Lisa Cavalier. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but check it out, it's so good. I've been jamming to it lately. <sighs> just cause it's so relatable, you know? <clears throat> but anyways, I'm just glad that these products have done for my skin. Like. I just feel like I'm not breaking out. My skin's really smooth. And these are just like the ingredient, the ingredients in these products are super calming. And I think that that's why my skin has just been like under control. But then again, like I said, who am I to know? Cause I'm not really educated on all the good things for your skin. For moisturizer, I go in with the Daily Moisture by Skin SkinCeuticals. Don't know if I'm saying that correct either. 
but it's this. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Come on. All right, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just kinda use like a little bit of this all over. A little goes a pretty long way. And then I take it down my neck as well. This stuff is so good. It gives you like the dewiest, glowiest look after you rub it in. The only thing about this is that in the lid it's like has a black rim and it kind of breaks up into the moisturizer. If you guys can't tell. Somebody's in my house. I have literally no idea. I didn't even know people were coming over. Um, what the heck? No idea. Anyways, I'm just gonna rub this in quick. Oh, it's my sister. Hello? I'm filming something right now. I didn't know you guys were coming over. We came because we're having a party. Oh. I can't believe school's out. That's crazy. My sister's a teacher and so is her friend. And obviously with this whole coronavirus thing, um, it's just chaotic. All these schools are closed and all these businesses and like you guys have heard about it, like Disney World's closed, Broadway in New York is closed. Like it's just crazy. I don't even wanna like voice my opinions because I'm scared someone's gonna jump my, down. I am scared somebody's going to jump down my throat. Anyways, I keep all my um, face stuff in this cute Glossier bag. And instead of keeping stuff out on my counter, I like to just put it in my little cabinet because I'm into like just a very clean, sleek, minimal look. Shoot, I forgot to put my moisturizer away. Okay, that's all put away. I'm also gonna put my earrings back in. I'm really weird. I feel like actually a lot of people do this. I sleep with all my jewelry in pretty much unless it's just an off night for me and I kind of want to take all of it out. But typically, I sleep with all my jewelry on, and it doesn't really bother me. And it's weird because it's like big, bulky hoops and like these little don't even know what to call those like huggies. But I didn't get that, that made a moisturizer, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Another thing is, my friend actually goes to the Disney College, and since Disney World is now closed, I believe for the rest of the month, I'm like, what are you going to do? Come in, I'm filming. Would you like to say hello? Hi! Are you making a video? Yeah. Wow, Savannah, what are you um, making a vlog about today? This is a vlog. vlog. Amanda, Amanda thinks that every video is a vlog. So like, is it you that thinks that it's not? Oh wait, no, that was somebody else, sorry. So this is a, it's moisturizer. <laughs> I always miss spots. Anyways, um, I'm talking about how Shanice like, works at Disney World. And it's closed now for the rest of the month, so I'm like, what are you gonna do? Because they have to make money to live there. Yeah. Like they have to pay rent and stuff. So that's kinda crazy. Um she's texting me right now. Can you put this on for me, actually? Yes. Because my hands are kinda of moist. Am I gonna star your for my moisturizer. Am I gonna star your YouTube video? I guess so. You're in it. Wow. But yeah, that's just kinda crazy to me that all these schools are closed. And so what's your take on this? My take is that Are you scared? I'm not scared. Okay, yeah, I'm not scared. Hey, Okay, well, it's 8 o'clock, and I am actually so tired. Oh, my God, I feel so uncomfortable. You can see my feet. I'm so tired already, and I don't really know if I'm going to end up hanging out with a friend tonight. I'm probably going to pass out. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't work Fridays. I'm always off on Fridays, so Thursdays are always my weekend which is super nice, but I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it tonight, so we'll see. I do have a Botox consult tomorrow, and it's just for, like, preventative purposes. I'm not really sure if I'm going to go through with it yet. I'm just kind of going to ask questions, see how much it would be, and, like, where all they could do it, and just all that good stuff. So maybe I will film a little bit of that. Probably not, though. I'll probably film, like, afterwards and talk about, like, what they said. Um, and then go from there. Well, I was laying down earlier, but I'm kind of out of bed now. And my sister's here, which I wasn't expecting. So I'm kind of like awake now. And I haven't heard back from my friend. So I take, well, I have. She said that they're like leaving soon, but I haven't heard from her. So I take that. The date's going well. Happy for you, Jen. <laughs> um, 
I just don't know what to do. Like, I hate nights where I don't do anything. But I feel like that's, like, what my life just consists of. I either have weekends where I do stuff every single day and I'm exhausted and I get sick like I am now. That's why I sound like this. No, I don't have the coronavirus. Um, or I'm in literally every single day doing, like, face masks and, like, my laundry and being, like, a super, um, super put-together adult. But I'm hoping after her date, her and I will probably just, like, have a low-key night. I'm kind of up for like watching a movie and crying, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, I feel like I'm the type of person that like feels better when they cry and I like watching love movies that make me feel even more alone and sad music. But I think it just like is because if you haven't cried in a while, sometimes you need something to make you cry and that's what does it for me. So I'm kind of in the mood to just watch a movie, maybe drink a whole bottle of wine and just go to bed early because I do have like that consult tomorrow. We're gonna see though. I'm not sure if I'll end up leaving the house or going over to hers. I don't know, I don't know. All right, hold up. So, Jen finally called, the date's over. So I'm about to go over there, I'm sleeping over. Before I do that, I'm putting on my brow serum. By the way, I'm in the process of filming a, um, review of the Revita Brow. I can never get things to focus. I'm getting pissed off. Okay, anyways, I'm doing a like review and hopefully results of using Revita Brow. So I'm applying this quickly before I go so I don't forget. I'm trying to like use it every day. I have it by my bed just so I don't forget. And I just kind of like, I look so bad up close. What the heck? I'm just putting it all throughout my brows. So I have the four to six week um, amount of serum. Hopefully it lasts me that long. I feel like some serums I use so much of and it doesn't end up lasting me that long. But that's probably how long it's gonna take me to film this video because I'm gonna use it obviously all up and see what happens. So stay tuned for that. I've seen a lot of those videos and I've seen like amazing results. So I'm like fingers crossed hoping I get the same results as well. But anyways, I'm about to leave. I'm sleeping over and I'm probably, I'm sleeping over and I'm probably just going to come home in the morning and like get ready so I don't really want to bring anything. So I'm just doing a few things before I go over. Lash serum, chapstick, I need to take my medicine. And I'm honestly wearing this. Can't wait to show you guys my outfit of the night. It's really cute. Hold up, just wait. I'm gonna have to hold my tripod because Okay, wait, <laughs> yikes. This is my outfit, isn't it cute? NYC half zip, gray Nike joggers, and slippers. What a look, honestly. I need to stop rambling because I'm sure she's about to be home by now. So, I'm gonna grab my bag and head on over. Not sure if I'm gonna vlog the rest of the night because she's probably gonna be telling me all about her amazing date and that's obviously personal. Probably just gonna talk about that and check back in tomorrow so i'll see you guys then all right it's 10 7 the next day so it's friday now and i just got back from jen's house and i need to get ready for my consult today so i'm about to do that i need to charge my phone i look so bad <laughs> um I'm play music i'm gonna get ready quickly and then i think her and i we're gonna go out afterwards, kind of like a day thing. And then we'll see what happens from there. Maybe, maybe her and I will vlog during that. I think we're gonna go, this is too loud, hold up. I believe her and I are probably gonna go have lunch somewhere. And then, um, there, I don't know if anyone's heard of the store Vici. I shop online Vici, or at least I used to, and now there is a location in Nashville if you haven't heard of it. Check it out, it's like super cute girly clothes. And they have a location in Nashville now, and it's super cute. Um, so I believe her and I are gonna go there. And then I think we're also gonna go to like Bar Louie, and just like hit a few bars, and maybe even go to Broadway. I don't know about you guys, I'm a big like day drinking, like day kind of girl, I love like, going to brunch and like staying out all day. 
rather than going, I mean I like going out at night, but I just feel like I enjoy it more during the day. So that's what we're gonna do after my consult. All right, I just finished doing my hair now. It, that took forever because my hair was just so messy. Um, I'm going to finish my makeup and then I need to leave kind of soon. It's 11 o'clock and I want to get there early to fill out like paperwork and stuff. Oh no. <laughs> my battery's about today, so I'm actually not going to be able to do my makeup on camera. We'll just film on my phone for the rest of the day if I'm going to vlog, so. All right, so my camera died, as you guys saw, so I'm having to film with my phone, but my hair and makeup is done, and I just threw on like the most casual outfit ever because I was kind of rushing because I needed to get gas before I left as well. So I'm on my way to the console. It's probably gonna take like literally 10 or 15 minutes, and I don't even think that I'm gonna get it today, and I don't know if I'm gonna get it in general. I kind of just wanna see like what preventative Botox can do for me, and just in general, so. <clears throat> I'm just gonna head over there and the only reason I'm still going is because if I don't go it's a $50 cancellation fee which I'm not trying to pay so I'm stopping to get gas I might grab a coffee if I have time um, and I'm on my way there and afterwards I'm gonna hang out with Jen I think like I said we're going out I'm not sure what the plans are yet but I have to come home and get ready all over again because I'm not wearing sweatpants out I have like joggers on and like a t-shirt it's cute but not cute enough if you know what I mean so we're on our way there so I just got back from my Botox consult and I actually ended up getting Botox in my chin I only got six units and you're probably like why did you get Botox in your chin well my chin is like the most insecure thing on my body I would say and as you can tell like I'm a very expressive person and every single time that I talk I have these like lines here and there and I just don't love the way that looks. It's like every single time I take a picture, I see them and I notice them. And I know it's like nobody else, like people probably wouldn't even think anything of it. And it's just like something that I do. And if you guys are not a fan of Botox, you don't believe in it, that's totally fine. Um, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I don't want you guys to come after me because I'm 21 and got Botox. I'm definitely not promoting getting Botox. I personally just wanted it and I just started with six units. I've never had it before. And um, I'm gonna see how I like it. I'm gonna see if anything happens, if anything changes. It takes about like two weeks for it to fully set in and see the full results. So in two weeks, I guess I'll really know if I um, like it and I'm going to continue to get it done. If it works though, I promise you I'm going to continue to get it done because like, I don't know, that's just not, what is that? I don't know, I'm weird, I know. Um, and I know it's what makes me me, but I want it to look different. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up getting that done. And since they did it today, they kind of like had to wipe makeup away. So I'm going to go in and kind of like redo all my makeup. All right. So <laughs> it's now sa Saturday and Jen and I are currently at our Uber driver's house from last night because I decided to leave my purse in the car and you guys, I don't know where I am. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> He's so kind. There are chickens in the front yard at the neighbor's house. I don't know where I am. Jen, say hello. Hey. <laughs> I'm telling them about my um, experience. So yeah, but at least I didn't leave it at a bar, you know? That I would have never gotten that back. Um, so now I have to figure out how to get home, but we gotta get food. It's all here. It's all good. Oh, good. 